Wow. 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 Crazy blockbuster trade. Juan Soto is no longer in the NL East. As a Mets fan, I am ecstatic. I can finally root for Juan Soto. Maybe I'll go get a Soto jersey on the Padres. Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Production. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be talking about the absolutely crazy blockbuster trade that sent Juan Soto and Josh Bell from the Nationals to the Padres in exchange for just an absolute haul. You got Mackenzie Gore, Robert Hassel III, C.J. Abrams, uh, Justin Susana, and James Wood, as well as Luke Voigt, all going to the Nationals for Soto and Bell. And originally, Eric Hosmer was in the deal, but he uh, had a 10-team no-trade clause. The Nationals were on that list, and he declined the trade to Washington, so now he's been shipped to, well, Boston. But with that being said, crazy trade between the Padres and Nationals for Juan Soto. I mean Juan Soto, generational talent, superstar, just, just absolutely in, insane numbers. In July, he got on base. At like a 500 clip, like exactly 500, maybe like a little bit above or t slightly below. I don't know. I didn't really watch the last game. I'm a Mets fan. I was working. But um, I mean, Juan Soto, it means it, through the entire month of July, every other at bat or plate appearance he was getting on base. Absolutely crazy. Read off his numbers this year. In what's a down year, he has a 3.8 war at 23 years old. Okay, keep in mind, this is a down year for a 23 year old. 3.8 war. 246 average, 21 home runs, 46 RBIs, a 408 on base percentage. The man is hitting 246 and has a 408 on base percentage. For his career, 291 hitter, 427 on base percentage. I mean, OPS plus for a career of 160, his OPS for a career is 966. He's 23 years old. Like, this is absolutely incredible. He has 91 walks in in uh, 436 plate appearances. I mean, this guy is absolutely insane. I mean, you just go back to uh, his 2020 uh, his 2020 year, shortened season, sure, finished fifth in the MVP voting. You go to uh, 20, 2019, the World Series year. 282 average, 401 on base percentage, 949 OPS, OPS. He hit 34 home runs, 110 RBIs, walked 108 times. I mean, just it Juan Soto, man. What can I say? Absolute superstar. Just, I mean, we all know who Juan Soto is. He won the home run derby as well. I mean, just absolutely incredible. Incredible. Also going over this trade, Josh Bell, this year, 301 average, 14 home runs, 57 RBIs, 877 OPS. Um, rebounding very, very nicely um, from the horrible year he had in 2020. Again, shortened year. He bounced back last year, and then this year looks about like he's a lot closer to the pace uh, he was in 2019 when he hit 277 with 37 home runs, was named an all-star. So Josh Bell, very solid switch hitter going over to... Uh, to San Diego and also here Mackenzie Gore very uh, strong start to the season in the majors again he's on the injured list right now with a 450 ERA in 13 starts 70 innings pitch 72 strikeouts a 1471 whip and a lot a lot the numbers aren't as good as what he's pitched to this year again he's been nasty to start the year he had like a ERA under three but the last couple starts have been really really rough for him Look at the prospects. Robert Hassel, thirty, the number one, number one, by the way, ranked prospect in the in the Padres organization. Sixty hit, fifty power, fifty five run, fifty five arm, fifty five field, overall fifty five. You got James Wood, nineteen years old, six seven two forty, by the way, with a forty five hit, fifty five power, sixty run at six seven, fifty five arm, fifty field, overall fifty five. Also going over in this trade. Harleen Susana, 18-year-old, 6'6", 235. So the Nationals are getting some big boys. They drafted Elijah Green. This would be a very, very big team. 55 fastball, 45 curve, 50 slider, 45 changeup, 40 control, overall 40. I mean, just absolutely incredible. Luke Voigt, by the way, also going to the trade. He's been not having a, a fantastic year. 
225 average, 13 home runs, 733 OPS, but now getting regular playing time in Washington, I feel like he's going to be a lot better. I guess, again, 2020 stud, 20, 277 average, 22 home runs, kind of broke out in the shortened year. And then 2021 didn't really follow it up. Again, lost a lot of playing time, was hurt. If Luke Voigt can stay healthy, I feel like he will be a solid trade candidate for the Padres, or not the Padres, the Padres traded him. Solid trade candidate for the Nationals. But man, Juan Soto is now on the Padres. This Padres team is a World Series or bust right now. They're they're going for it. I mean, uh, they're going to get Fernando Tatis back soon. You got Manny Machado. You got Juan Soto. The big three. You know, the Dodgers have their big three. Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Trey Turner. The Padres now got their big three. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. I mean, the Padres, they, they have the money to do it right now. They're not, they're not, their payroll right now is not over 182. And they just traded Eric Hosmer. So they just dumped his con, uh, contracts with the um, luxury tax number for next year is going to go down a bit. So with that being said, who wins this trade? You, the, the Padres do. Obviously, the Padres win this trade. If you're trading for a generational type talent, once one that will come once in a decade, like Juan Soto is defying baseball. He's doing things that have like basically never been done before. They've never been seen before. And he's still young. I mean, you're trading for a 23-year-old who gets on base at an over 400 clip, walks more than he strikes out. I mean, pure hitter, by the way. Is decent in the outfield. I mean, you're going to trade the farm for it. I was fine if the Mets traded the farm for him. I, every team had to bend in on Soto, and you have to be. It's okay to trade the farm. If one of these guys pan out, sure. I doubt they're going to be anywhere close to the level of Juan Soto. He's just just superstar. If you have the opportunity to trade for a superstar, and that's what the Potters did. You saw the Dodgers last year, Trey Turner, Max Scherzer, didn't work out. The Padres, they were going to get them, didn't get them. And now the Padres make this push. Could this push the Padres over the edge? Can they get past probably the wild card round if they can't catch the Dodgers? Who knows? But let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, like I said in the comment section below, who do you think win this trade? The Padres win, the Nationals trade win. Uh, I'm not excited to see all these big boys play for the Nationals as a Mets fan. But in retrospect, I can be a Soto fan now. I, I can like Soda. The Nationals suck, so we're getting some free wins. And, uh, yeah, come back for more videos later on. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.